What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net, and today we are going to be installing Internet Information Services. Internet Information Services, otherwise known as IIS within Windows, is a way for you to run a web server, or in the case of running Windows 7, Vista, XP, or Windows 2000, uh, you run a personal server running IIS. And we are inside of Windows 7, so we're going to be running a personal server. And this can only be done in Windows 7 Professional, Extreme, and the one that I've got installed, which I don't remember which version it is. Anyway, um, you cannot install this on Windows, any type of Windows Home system. Windows 7 Home, XP Home, Vista Home, uh, so forth. And so, but anyway, this will give you a way to run uh, your websites. Now, I run ASP Classic, so that's basically what we're going to set this thing up to do is run ASP Classic and .NET websites. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Click on Start, and I've already got my uh, menu set up so that it shows everything. So we're going to go to Control Panel. And you gotta make sure that you've got your uh, Windows CD inside your CD drive, unless your system come pre-installed. If it come pre-installed and you don't have a CD, then you don't have to worry about it. So anyway, go to Program and Features, and then click over here to install it. I'm sorry, click Turn Windows Features On and Off. <clears throat> and then we're gonna sit here and wait for this joker to load. And it usually takes a couple of seconds. Okay, now with our Turn Windows Features On and Off list right here, what we want to do is that we want to go into the Internet Information Services, which is right here. So you want to click on that first one, then you want to expand it open to your World Wide Web Services. And then you want to go down to Application Development Features. Can't get my mouth to work right. Click on ASP and ASP.NET and that's going to go ahead and check every single one of these for you. And then the next thing that we want to do right quick while we're in here is to go into the development tools and to choose IS Metabase IIS configuration compatibility. Then click OK. This right here is going to take a few minutes for it to install and then once it installs we'll be right back. Alright and we are done installing. So go ahead and close out of your program and features panel. Come over to your start menu and type in IIS. And this is going to bring up Internet Information Services IIS Manager. Right click on it and add it to your start menu. That way it can be in your start menu easy to access. Easy to access. Well, words this ain't coming out right today. So now we are going to wait. Okay. First thing that we want to do here is um, okay this right here is your computer name and if you're within a domain you're gonna have your domain then your computer name this right here is your application pool we'll get into that on another lesson these are your sites this is your default website right here and so the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go over here to our ASP now this is for ASP classic people go over here to ASP double click on it Okay, the first thing that we want to do here is that we want to change a few things. Enable parent paths, we want to change that to true. And then we want to go down here to our da, 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 debugging properties. Send arrows to browser, change that to true. This right here will enable it to send the error to your browser so that if you get an error while you're designing your website, it will send the error to the browser so that you can debug your code. And so that's all that we need to do here. And then let's 
go ahead and apply you gotta make sure that you apply if not then it will not keep your your changes let's go back over to our default web page and then click over here on default document uh, this list right here is okay if you're going to run all these things i'm not so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on each one that i'm not going to use since i'm doing asp i'm not going to be using the is start.html so i'm going to hit the the delete key on my keyboard choose yes do the same thing to that one same thing to that one and the same thing to that one the only things that i want in here is default.asp and default.asp default.aspx okay then we go back over here to our default website and then um, let's see here we should be able to launch a website which uh, let's see first we got to go over here to our manage website advanced settings and let's find out where we're at see I don't usually do this so I change this to G colon this is usually where I uh, design my websites from so we click on OK okay directory does not exist so let's go over here and create that directory so we go into G and then we create INET pub and then www root and so we need a file to put in here so let's just open up notepad and we are going to type in percent response dot write hello world and then end now we're going to save this file to our not to there we're going to save it to here and with the extension of default.asp okay now we should be able to reach this site by get us a chrome browser open over here and http colon slash slash 192.168.2 i gotta find out which number I'm in over here bro. okay we are back it is dot two dot nine so now whenever we run this we should get that little script and it's not going to allow us so we need to do something else here see it's trying to pick up on this and I forgot we got to finish this part so click on OK and now Let's try that again. There he goes. Hello world. So that is how you run ASP pages out of IIS within Windows 7. Same thing will happen in Windows Vista as well. Windows XP is slightly different and so is Windows 2000. And if you're going to be running uh, multiple websites, then I strongly suggest that you uh, invest in windows 2003 server or 2008 server there's a new server out now i think it's 2012 or 2013 and uh so um for lower cost i'd go with 2000 and uh yeah 2003 server <laughs> almost forgot to say it there anyway that is how you get your is IIS up and running and that's how you run an ASP classic website so uh, y'all have a rocking weekend uh, oh, getting ready to go into the weekend so y'all have a rocking weekend alright Wayne Barron darkfix.net take care